So PewDiePie fans are back at it again guys. They made another virus and this one's even worse. Let's get into it. So I found this article on, what is it, futurism.com yesterday and it says new virus steals your files until PewDiePie gets a hundred million subscribers. <laughs> oh my god, what are you kids doing? The army of nine year olds. Ugh. Another ransomware variant encrypts your files unless you subscribe to PewDiePie. Talking to you, listener. Watcher. But even if you do, it deletes them anyway. <laughs> they made a virus and they can't even control it. It's not doing what they wanted it to do. I guess that's why it's called a virus. They kind of just screw up everything. Let's go on. Certain members of YouTube star PewDiePie's fan base have started infecting people's computers with homemade ransomware. According to a new investigation by ZDNet, in the ongoing push to get the YouTuber back on top as the channel with the most subscribers in the world. As much as I would love that, um, I don't think this is the way to do it. In the past, mischievous PewDiePie fans have hacked publicly accessible printers and spammed comments online, urging people to subscribe to the online gamer turned controversial YouTube personality. But an actual virus represents a dangerous escalation in similar tactics. I can't say that I actually agree with this. Yes, it's hilarious. You can fault me for that. I think it's funny. <laughs> oh man, but this is just wrong. Encrypting people's computers. What if it gets to the wrong person? What if it gets to me? I'm subscribed to PewDiePie, okay? What if I get this virus? I've I wasn't able to find online anybody infected with it so far. You know, it's been out for a day only. But haven't been able to find any specific cases where anybody reported getting infected with this. Maybe it happens to old people. I think that's the only kind of people that aren't subscribed to PewDiePie yet. Let's go on. When a computer gets hit by ransomware, it encrypts the hard disk until you meet the hacker's demands, sort of like a digital hostage situation. Developing ransomware and calling it a prank, as PewDiePie fans have done, is one thing, but the PewDiePie-inspired ransomware is made so poorly, according to ZDNet's analysis, that it's doing permanent damage. Because the authors of the first PewDiePie ransomware failed to save encryption keys even if victims met the demands, their files were lost for good. That's right folks, this isn't the first time this happened, but the second time. Virus version 2. Fortunately this time it doesn't just delete your files, it encrypts them so they are still there, they're just locked. Pretty much, you can't open them because they're encrypted, which essentially means they're rewritten in a code that your computer can't read, essentially. Another ransomware attack holds computers hostage until PewDiePie reaches 100 million subscribers on YouTube. And if his rival channel T-Series does so first, the files will permanently be deleted. Okay, I guess I spoke a little too soon. They're not just encrypted, they're deleted as well. Boy, that is some real incentive to go and subscribe to PewDiePie. That means if someone you know gets hit with this virus, don't be alarmed when they start telling everyone they know to subscribe to PewDiePie. I mean, it's likely they already have done that. <laughs> I've sure done that to my friends. But yeah, this is gonna turn some people into PewDiePie fanatics or at least fanatically telling you to subscribe. The person behind that attack, realizing just how much trouble they could get themselves into after having infected a few computers, publicly released their code so people could decrypt their files on their own and move on. I mean, at least he's doing that. You can unencrypt the stuff yourself so your files don't get deleted. That would be pretty bogus. I'd be pretty mad, but this seems like it's just a joke. Which, they even state that it is a joke, 
but for a lot of people, they'll get mad still. But still, it's unlikely that PewDiePie's fans are about to stop their notoriously obnoxious campaign anytime soon. And hopefully they don't, because I am laughing my A off over here. <laughs> this whole PewDiePie and T-Series controversy is just hilarious. It's a conversation starter, it's an icebreaker, it's a meme. This army of fans he has is just outrageous. And I mean, I'm a fan too, but I'm not out here doing things like this. Heck, I don't even know how to hack or make any type of wear. <sighs> All right, guys, you heard it here on Greenlight Gadgets. If you could do so, hit that subscribe button right now. Actually, not if you can, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Thank you to everyone that did subscribe since my last video. My heart goes out to you. And feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of this video telling me your thoughts or if you just want to call me a mean old stupid head, that's fine too. Just as long as you like this video and stay positive and use your freaking turn signal. Make sure to hit those buttons and share this video. Can't we just share a laugh?